What if I told you this little gadget, the Pico Calc, hides a major design flaw that could absolutely ruin your day? But what if I also told you it's the heart of one of the coolest projects I've assembled all year? Well, I'm Jay Blanks, and today I'm going to show you the danger hiding inside in one project that makes this a must have anyway. So what actually is the Pico Calc? Well, at its core, it's a handheld computer built around the Raspberry Pi Pico. It has a retro style design with a four inch square screen and a full keyboard, all housed in a DIY friendly shell that you assemble yourself for $79. The promise is a pocket sized terminal for coding and tinkering, channeling the spirit of the old school 80s pocket computers, but with modern open source parts. The question is, does it live up to that hype? Well, I bought one and pushed its limits to find out. And the first thing you need to know is that this device is so much more than its name implies. Now, when you hear PicoCalc, you're probably thinking it's just a hyped calculator. And I did too, but the name is incredibly misleading. The hardware is really only half the story. It's the community that elevates this from a fun novelty into a legitimate pocket development tool. Now, out of the box, the new Pico Calcs come with a bootloader that has a basic interpreter and other firmwares all included on the 32 gigabyte SD card. It takes you right back to the golden age of computing where turning on a device gives you a programming prompt in seconds. For anyone who grew up with the Commodore 64 or in love with Raspberry Pi Pico projects, this feels like magic. You can literally start writing simple programs immediately. But the real power comes from the open source community. You can easily get MicroPython or the Pico SDK running, which unlocks a world of possibilities. And if you swap the standard Raspberry Pi Pico for a Pico W, you can get Wi-Fi access. There are even community projects like PicoWare, that lets you pull live weather data and even check social media. PicoWare also includes GPS, apps, games, screensavers, and system utilities. There's even a GitHub downloader that lets you pull code repositories directly onto the device from the internet. Think about that. This is a $79 handheld you can use to program yourself, connect to the internet, and talk to online APIs using modern languages. This software flexibility is what truly makes the Pico Calc special. The second thing you need to know is that the hardware is brilliantly designed for its target audience, makers and tinkerers. This isn't a sealed up black box, it's a playground. Let's talk power. The PicoCalc runs on 18650 batteries, which you have to buy separately. This is a great choice because these batteries are common in hobby electronics. They recharge via the device's USB-C port and they provide days of runtime. I was getting a solid few days of continuous coding before needing a charge. And best of all, they're swappable, so you can carry spares and go all day. Now, the keyboard is another highlight. For its small size, the backlit keyboard is surprisingly comfortable and has a satisfying click that makes it genuinely useful for typing code. Then there's the expandability. It's a full size SD card slot for storage. You can click to pop it out and plug in another if needed. But the real magic for hardware hackers at least is the exposed GPIO pins on the left side. You get access to the Picos, Spy, I2C, and UART interfaces, letting you easily connect sensors, motors, and other components. 
This whole thing is held together with standard screws and a shell, basically begging you to open it up and customize it. The third must know fact is all about the display. Now, the Pico Calc uses a 4 inch 320 by 320 IPS screen. It's sharp, vibrant, and has a pretty cool retro feel that perfectly matches the device's personality. Text is crisp, and it's simply a joy to look at. However, it does have its limits. While the retro aesthetic is part of the charm, the small square screen can feel restrictive for some complex tasks. If you're deep in a project trying to debug a lot of code, that limited screen space might become a real bottleneck. It's perfectly fine for simple scripts or working on a command line, but definitely don't expect it to replace your monitor for serious development. Now, obviously this isn't a deal breaker, but it's an important expectation to set. The Pico Calc shines as a companion device or a portable field tool. Think of it as a digital field notebook for your code, not the entire library. All right, we're getting to the most important points. Now, if you're finding this review helpful, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I bought this myself so I can give you the real story without any sponsored nonsense. Your support is really what makes this possible. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up too. It takes a second and it's free. The fourth must know fact is about the price. Now at $79, is the Pico Calc even worth it? Well, yes, but it really depends on who you are. First, for the absolute beginner just getting into code or electronics, this is a fantastic buy in my opinion. It's pretty much a low risk investment that offers an all-in-one platform to learn on. The assembly is a fun project in itself and you can instantly start coding in MicroPython. Next, for the intermediate maker or hobbyist who may already know their way around the Raspberry Pi or Arduino, for you, the PicoCalc is a unique portable tool. It's perfect for porting your Raspberry Pi Pico projects, taking to a hackathon, or using as a control hub for bigger creations. For this group, that $79 buys a versatile device that adds something new to your toolkit. And finally, for the advanced developer, the value is more niche. It's not going to replace your professional tools. But, I mean, it could be super useful for field testing as a portable serial terminal or even as a teaching aid. Its limitations, especially the small screen, might get in the way of heavy work, but for quick jobs, it's a handy gadget to have in your bag. So, for $79, the Pico Calc is for the curious, the tinkerers, and the learners. And if that sounds like you, the price is more than fair. And that brings us to the final and most important point. This is the warning I mentioned at the start, and it's one I learned the hard way. Yes, I broke my screen. It's the device's biggest weakness, but I'm going to tell you exactly how it happens and how to make sure it never happens to you. Now, the problem isn't that the screen is fragile during use, it's that the LCD panel is extremely delicate during assembly and disassembly. The real reason screens get cracked is because the screen itself isn't properly seated in the front half of the case, or it shifts slightly while you're putting the other parts in. When you close the case, this misalignment creates a pressure point, usually on an edge or the corner, and crack. It's game over. Now, in my experience, I've seen this only happen to people whenever they're putting the case together. But there's a simple community discover lifesaver, the tape trick. 
All you need to do is apply one or two inches of tape to the back of the LCD panel securing it to the case. This holds the screen securely in place so it can't move around as you assemble the rest of the components. It's a two minute job that acts as an insurance policy. Now I've had several videos on this and since getting my replacement screen and using the tape trick, it has been rock solid. That one simple step completely solves the problem. You need to be aware of this risk before you click buy, but more importantly, you have to know how easy it is to prevent. So after all the testing and tinkering, well, what's the final verdict on the Pico Calc? Even with the delicate screen, I know I still believe this is one of the most interesting and fun pieces of DIY hardware you can buy right now. It absolutely succeeds at being a fun, hackable, and educational tool. The blend of retro charm, solid hardware, and the potential unlocked by community software makes it a truly special device. But here's my final recommendation. Now, if you are a patient and careful maker, a hobbyist who loves to tinker, or a beginner looking for an exciting way into electronics and code, then yes, the PicoCalc is absolutely worth the $79. The fun you'll get from it outweighs the risk as long as you know what you're getting into and take it slow. However, if you're rough with your gadgets or if the idea of performing delicate surgery on a brand new kit sounds like a nightmare, you should probably pass on this one. That screen fragility is a real risk. Ultimately though, the PicoCalc is a device that rewards curiosity and care. But that's just my take. What do you think? Is the screen issue a deal breaker or is the risk worth the reward? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.